This is a Toolkit RC M8 AC, not to be confused with the R2-D2. Although both beep and power up small flying things, this is a compact AC-DC charger that promises to handle your lipos without frying them or you. Right out of the box, you'll get a charger, a power cable, and shockingly, no instruction manual that needs a PhD to decipher. The M8 AC is designed to be beginner friendly with a clean 2.4 inch color screen, one wheel for navigation, and menus that don't feel like a maze built by an angry programmer. Power wise, it handles 100 watts on AC and 300 watts on DC. That's enough juice to wake up even your grumpiest six or even 8S pack, because that's right, this will charge up to 8S. It'll also charge up to eight amps, so unless you're running your fleet of drones non-stop, you should be sorted. So initially I plugged in a 6S and I hit start and boom, not, I mean not literally, but it spun up, the fans kicked in quietly and the charger gave me all the information I needed. We've got voltage, we've got cell balance and we've got internal resistance. Basically, it's a bit more honest than my bathroom scales. And let's talk about the balance charging. It's on point, no cell was left behind. It's like a school teacher for lipos, making sure that everyone behaves and no one is slacking off. Now I could say that the fan noise is as quiet as a ninja in socks. But if you're in a silent room, you'll still hear a soft whir. It's not annoying unless you have hearing that's as sharp as the blade of your props. Now some of the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that there has been a slight increase in the quality of the video that we're producing for this one. And that's because we're shooting in ProRes now, which ultimately should mean cre cleaner, creamier, crisper videos. What it did mean is there was a slight break from when I could record to when I could actually film. So off camera, I did a check with a voltage meter, with a multimeter, sorry, and it was bang on. Uh, Toolkit didn't just slap some random numbers on the screen. It does appear that the numbers on the screen are actually accurate. It's just a shame I don't have that footage because of the upgrade that we went through here in the studio. Now, as well as charging your lipos, you can also do um, servo tests on this thing. If we have a look in the menu, you've got all different types of batteries. So you've got lipos, you've got LIFE, you've got LIHV, you've got LION, you've even got NIMH, but you've also got UAV BAT, which is basically, you'll need an adapter to use this, but essentially it will allow you to charge a series of DJI drone batteries. And we'll go through the list as you can see now, and there's lots of different ones that you can actually choose. Like I say, you will need an adapter for it, don't get me wrong, but ultimately to have a servo tester, to have, obviously you've got a USB out as well, to have an ATS charger, and to be able to charge UAV bats as well, or DJI bats, let's call them what they really are, DJI bats. Um, it's it's pretty versatile. If if I was being ultra critical and you guys always expect me to come up with something whereby I don't just gush over a product, I am always honest about a product. I think the only thing that I particularly miss on this is the fact that it's a single charging port. So you can only charge one battery at once. Now, if it was only a 6S, I'd probably be quite harsh about that, but it will charge up to 8S. So it's going to need that extra power and, and stuff. So I suspect the reason why there's only one is because you're making that choice of 8S. Now, I don't have an 8S quad. So obviously the only natural thing that I can do now is clearly build an 8S quad and get an 8S lipo and um, and give it a proper, proper thrashing because uh, I think it's time that I stepped up from 6S. I've been flying 6S now for nearly five years, virtually every day. Um, and I think it is time that I stepped up and went to 8S and thankfully Toolkit RC have got me, uh, I've got me covered. Now, just very quickly before we get to the end of the video, Toolkit RC did send me this. Um, there was no money exchange for the review. There's no talking points that I have to hit and Toolkit RC will not see this video until this video is published. Now I'm going to run a list of names across the screen for members because this is going to be a short video. So we're not going to have time to spend five minutes on members. Um, so do forgive me, but I will make sure that you get your shout out one way or another in as many of these videos as I possibly can. Should you grab an M8 AC? Well, if you're looking for a budget friendly, beginner welcoming plug and play charger, that won't set you or your bench on fire. This is a solid choice. It's not the most powerful charger out there. It doesn't have the most ports out there. But from the majority of hobbyists that want something simple, plug and play, and away you go, 
that will go from 1 to 8S, this is a great option to buy. It, it genuinely, genuinely is. Now, just want to touch, because obviously this channel is primarily aimed at, at new pilots and newer pilots and newbies and things, although we do cater to everybody, um, I do want to just cover something that I've been asked quite a lot in the past few weeks, and that is battery charging safety. How should you charge these batteries? The very simplest way I can explain it to you is at a decimal point. So we've got a, a 1300 Ma lipo on the bench. What we do, our charging current goes to 1.3. So if you've got a 700 Ma lipo, it doesn't matter how many cells, forget the cells, because this charger will pick the, the cells for you because you can set it to auto and it'll know how many is in there as long as you plug it in the right way, which I didn't do at the, at the start. So if you've got a 700 Ma, then it would be 0 0.7. If you've got a 500 Ma, it would be 0 0.5. And if you've got a 2200 Ma, leave the comment down below and tell me what the setting should be for a 2200 Ma 5S. There you go, let's make it a bit difficult for you. So 2200 Ma 5S. Comment down below what the setting should be on the charging amps. And uh, we'll see who's paid attention to this video. Listen, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. It has been a short and sweet one. I do hope you like the improved visuals. Obviously, we're going to play with them as we move forward and, and hopefully improve them even further. We are pushing really, really hard now to get this channel to the big time. So please do support us wherever you can. Patreon, YouTube memberships, in Instagram, it doesn't matter. Or even just by subscribing and sharing it with your friends. We are pushing really, really hard to get this channel out there. We're improving quality all the time. We're improving content all the time. Stick with us because I think big things are coming this year. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. Make sure you leave a like and drop a comment down below for the next Community Spotlight. And I'll pick a, a comment or two at random from this video as well. There's going to be specs and links in the description. I'll catch you all on the next one. I think I've just heard a charger beep. It's time for me to go flying. Peace out, everybody.